I got so offended, I refused to show him my passport. Have you experienced racism in Japan? Well, I hate to dwell on the bad, but I've definitely been the victim of racism here. Do you think Japan is foreigner friendly? Different things in Japan are friendly for the foreigners, but some things are not so friendly. Uh -huh. Well, I'd say the Japanese women are definitely foreigner friendly. Do you think Japan is foreigner friendly? I think so. And the time I've been here, I've had a lot of people very friendly. Everybody's willing to say hi on the streets. Well, I'd say the Japanese women are definitely foreigner friendly okay. because it's been just terrific. I mean, whether it's my free volunteer tour guides or women we're meeting at Starbucks or Izakayas, I mean, it's just been a nonstop fuck fest. It's really been great. Yes, I'd say for Japanese women and, and a nice foreign man, it's very foreigner friendly. If I end up getting married and staying here, you know, that's, that's not on me. It's that good. People are very friendly. If you need some kind of help, if you just like stop somewhere and you are searching around, you know, eh, always will somebody come and uh, try to ask you, try to help you what you need. And for, from that side, everything is okay. We're making friends everywhere. And we've been using two things. We've been using the JR Pass and we've been using the free volunteer tour guides. Go online and Google free volunteer tour guides. All these towns and cities, people just volunteer. There's no tipping. You don't even pay their train or their lunch. They just want to practice English and make international friends and welcome you to their town. And it is, the people are fantastic. And I, I actually have taken weight off. I feel healthier. I feel more energized. As a foreigner, it's uh, very simple to, to find your way in Japan. And the question I want to ask is, is Japan racist? I wouldn't say so. You wouldn't say so? Not from what I've seen. Everyone here has been very friendly, even though I'm a foreigner. No. No? You don't think so? <laughs> no. no. Well, I, well, okay, okay. Like, have you, like, um... This is me confused. Because I was expecting these foreigners to absolutely trash out Japan. But in reality, most foreigners, including those not on this video, only had good things to say about Japan. In my opinion, as a Japanese, Japan is not the most foreigner-friendly country compared to other places. However, if you're just chilling in Tokyo for a week eating sushi, you might not understand. To really get the full picture, you'd have to explore around Japan and stay a little longer. I managed to speak to a guy who has been traveling around Japan for three months. Let's hear his experience with racism in Japan. Well, I hate to dwell on the bad because Japan is a terrific place, but I've definitely been the victim of racism here. And I can give you three solid examples. The first one seems very subtle. I'm on the Shinkansen train, doing my little two-week pass, blah, blah, blah. There's nobody else on the train except for me as the only foreigner in that car. We stop at the next station, and who happens to be the person that has the reserve seat next to me? A black American. Now, I think that's great. Somebody I can chat with, and he was sharing his food, which is nice. Mm -hmm. However, what was the coincidence that the Shinkansen train people put the two foreigners together of that whole car? Why did it happen to be that that second foreigner who got out at the next station happened to have a seat next to me? I don't believe that was a coincidence. I believe it's like, eh, maybe Japanese don't want to sit next to a foreigner. And they don't say that. They say to themselves, well, they'll be more comfortable. They can talk to each other. That's bullshit. I want to talk to Japanese people. Again, I hate to complain. We're staying at these beautiful ryokans around the country. And uh, everywhere we go, ryokans. You got to sit the ryokans. It's like a traditional, authentic Japanese inn. Oh, they're fantastic. So we're sitting at this beautiful place. We get our room. And it's like, you know, I mean, it just seems like a, like the old wing. It just seems like this, this expensive, beautiful place. That tatamis and everything are a little aged. But I'm not complaining. We're really happy with the room. Okay? And then what a coincidence that the room next to me on the left and the new room next to me on the right were the other foreigners. And then I see in the lobby, I didn't see any other foreigners at breakfast except for us three. So they put the three foreigners in the same part of the ryokan together. And then I find out it is the old wing. Now, I understand their point. They say foreigners, we're, more, we're noisier. Yes, we are. So that way we only disturb each other. I don't happen to be noisy. And the truth is, I don't want to be next to foreigners either. They're fucking noisy. So I got the same issue the Japanese does. Take it for what it is. Secondly, we just really screw up about taking off our shoes before we go on the tatamis. We do. We forgot our keys. We forgot this. We go back. We don't take our shoes up. I get it. But not all of us. Anyways, so that was the second thing. And that was obviously racism. Yeah, it is what it was. That's exactly what happened. Take it for what it's worth. Yeah, okay, me and three Japanese friends, we got a little drunk. Yeah, we were pretty drunk. Izakai, nomikai, whatever they call that stuff. And so it's midnight. We're in front of the kombini or 1130, waiting for the last train. And we're drunk off our asses. We are. And we're being loud in front of the kombini. And I had one of them, Suntory 9%, whatever that is. 
the stuff will get you drunk and badly hung over. And we're raising hell, me and these three Japanese friends I just met, and the police roll up on us. Uh, urusai, urusai. I guess that means shut up. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm sorry, it's Japan. Go in outside. And then over the four of us, they look at me and they said, let's see your gaijin card, your, your ID card. Or gabgen gabgen. They got a name for it. And I'm like, what? You're asking me for an ID card and not them? I got so offended. I refused to show him my passport. I refused. I'm like, and I said, Doshite steru watashi nihonji janai. Which is kind of like, how do you know I'm not Japanese? I was so offended that I refused to show him my passport. And one of my Japanese friends started saying racial discrimination and a bunch of other stuff. I understood that. Anyways, I refused. And then they called more police officers. And I was not going to be the victim of that sort of racial harassment. I mean, you know, no, that is just wrong. And I refused. And the older cop came. And I said, this is racial discrimination. I understand we're drunk and loud. I'll go home back to my hotel. And the guy was like, yeah, go. So the older cop came along and he, and he was like, I said, go. And it was kind of funny because then there was reverse discrimination. Because then as I'm down the block going to my hotel, the cops are now pissing off my buddies. They're like, uh, you Japanese, you should know better. <laughs> so it became reverse racial discrimination. They sent me on my way and they were haranguing my Japanese buddies after I left. So that was kind of cool. What is not so friendly are, for example, uh, traffic site. I am a, 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 a talking beast uh, from the side of a Westerner, mm -hmm. European. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no Latin signs and things like that. Uh, then uh, if you are in a restaurant, small number of restaurants, what you can understand what they are giving you for, mm -hmm. you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Everything is Japanese uh, letters, hiragana, nandakana, or kanji, uh, but nothing very small number of platin. I've heard, I've heard of a biking while foreigner, that if you're on a bicycle, you better have the certificate that you paid for the bike or something. And I've heard that getting housing is really difficult. Now, but again, let me look at it from the Japanese perspective. They don't want foreigners because it takes an MBA just to figure out how to, how to sort the garbage. I still, nobody knows how to sort the garbage here if you weren't born here or went to school for it. Secondly, we're louder. You can go to Japanese neighborhoods and not hear a thing. We are louder. I mean, just like making love. I mean, when Americans may have sex or foreigners have sex, you can hear it. You can hear it. And in Japan, when you have sex with your house, you have sex with the whole neighborhood because all the walls are so thin. I get it. We're louder. We can't feel the garbage. Also, our cooking. I hear they especially have problems with like Indians and Chinese because of their the sauces they use or something. Yes, I've heard that um, discrimination in housing is really bad. However, it doesn't mean you can't find housing. It's just, it's really harder. But then again, look at their perspective. It's true. I still can't figure out the freaking garbage here. Can you figure out the garbage here? Not really. Nobody can figure out the garbage here. I mean, there's like five different things, including your toilet. I, I, and, and yes, we do cook different food. And yes, we are louder. And yes, we make love with passion and noise. You know, go to Love Hotel, Love Hotel. <laughs> Dude, I, I, this is my... You think I go to Love Hotel?